How are you guys doing today? Good. How Good. are you? How are nice you, to Steve? see you. Uh, nice to see you guys. Congrats on your first uh, studio movie, if you will. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I am curious. What do you? Um, this is your first time working with this cat, like a cast like like this, if you will. What do you think? Is there anything that you wish you knew on day one that you now know after making a movie like this? Oh, that's a great question. We haven't been asked that before. I think one thing that we have always. Honestly, there's nothing that I think I would change, <laughs> but... <laughs> I, I think we knew Paul Walter Hauser was a secret weapon. Maybe not as much of a secret weapon. Now yeah. we're like, oh, we can't wait for everyone to see uh, his yeah. character and see yeah. uh, that he really, uh, he just makes every movie better. <laughs> That's a good answer. It's very true. <laughs> By the way, I, I completely agree. 100%. He's a secret weapon. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. Maybe um, you won't be as secret after Queen Pins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be true. I uh, I think one of the things about this movie is that everybody has used a coupon. Or if you haven't used a coupon, you're, you're an anomaly. And, you know, I, I, I guess, can you sort of talk about what is it about um, the coupon culture that is maybe ripe for telling a story like this? Yeah, well, we took a deep dive in the world of coupons and there's so much of a psychological effect of using coupons, the coupon high, but also, the foundation of our economy runs off of coupons. And what we realized is that someone, a company like JCPenney, when they decided to get rid of coupons all across the board, they lost $4 billion. And almost went bankrupt. And almost went bankrupt. And so what we discovered through our research is that when people ask the question, is it a need or is it a want, you know, they will then decide if they're going to purchase something. But if you have a coupon, and you decide to use it as a ticking clock on it, all of a sudden, if it's a need or a want, it's no longer a want, it always becomes a need because now you feel the pressure to buy. So coupons essentially are the ticket to continuing buying in our economy. And I think we did see a statistic where 96% of Americans have used a coupon before. So it yeah. is an anomaly if, you're, if you haven't. Um, one of the things that I appreciate about this movie is that your the best friends, do not have the typical falling out in the second act. Like they're legit best friends and they're trying to work together for each other. Can you sort of talk about that aspect of the script? Well, thank you for yeah, recognizing thank, thank that. Thank you, because yeah. that was something that we talked about and we said, let's avoid that sort of cliche or trope. Mm -hmm. And we worked yeah. really hard to make sure that it was this friendship that was strong throughout and they were dealing with all of these external forces that they had to, you know, overcome obstacles, but it wasn't about them having some sort of fight, you know, two thirds of the way through and moping around for 10 minutes and then coming back together stronger. But that was something that we really discussed in writing it and wanted yeah. to avoid that. And it was so important to us because Aaron and I would say, you know, like we have friends we've been friends with for 25 years and we've never going through difficult times ever turned on each other. But let's make this really a story about what happens in real life, which is there's you a huge obstacle. Yeah, you support your friends. There's a huge obstacle in the way. Let's figure out how to tackle the obstacle in your way. And, and get yeah. over it together. And get over it together. And that's Aaron and I are best friends, even though we're also married. <laughs> and we also talk about all the obstacles in our way, and we don't turn on each other. We really just want to support each other and get through it. Uh, on that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say congrats on your movie. I had a great time watching it. I hope you guys are making another studio film again very soon. Oh, we do too. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Steve. Cool. Have a great day. Thank you.